Hey guys, John here with Terminal Goblin Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at aliases. Something I hear from uh, admins who've not touched Linux, or Windows users who haven't touched Linux, is that they don't want to do all the command line stuff, they don't want to memorize it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the way that you can not memorize the options, but still get all of the efficiencies of the command line. So let's make a couple of text files here to, for testing purposes. First we're going to make test.txt. And then secondly, we're going to make ickles.txt. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these in an archive and compress it with tar. And we're going to use the options CZVF. It stands for create, use gzip, V for a progress bar, but we're not going to get that because this is small. And finally, F to choose the file. And we're going to output this, and we're going to name it something so we know what's inside of it. If you were using this for like a programming project, you would call it the, you would call it the name of the program. But, uh, you know, we want to tell them that there's two files in here, so let's just combine these names into testicles.gz. Now if we want to extract this to get access to our files, we're going to want to use tar with the options xzvf for extract, use gzip, v for the progress bar, and f for file. So. That's a, you know, that's a lot of stuff to remember, so what we're going to do is we want to make aliases. In your editor of choice, open up your bash rc, which is located in your home directory, denoted by a tilde, and dot bash rc. The dot means it's hidden uh, from usual ls and stuff of that nature, so keep that in mind. So alias space, and we're going to call it untar to keep in line with the unzip. And we're going to do tar space dash x z v f all right so now let's save and you must open up another terminal in order to have your changes show up like that and let's move this to the desktop so you can see the files pop out and now let's try it untar testicles gz and there we have it and you can do this uh, you can do this for many different things but yeah that's all i have uh, for you today if you like the video you know like it subscribe and you know, if, I'm, if you think I'm an idiot and this was really stupid and you're dumber for watching it, tell me that as well. Alright, have a good day. See you guys.